Troy is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Some people say that love at first sight is something to excuse crazy people's attachment issues. I disagree. Editor of the school paper and head cheerleader elope after graduation. I know what you're thinking. It sounds like something straight out of a Hallmark movie, but we actually have a totally normal relationship for a couple our age. Sure, we've had our ups and downs, but what's important is that through it all, we've been there for each other, no matter what. It really gives new meaning to the term till death do us part. When he's not trying to rip my face off, he can actually be quite sweet. Today is our three-year wedding anniversary. It's the first one since recent development, so it just has to be perfect. Obviously, under the current conditions, Troy can't take me out to dinner, so it was up to me to do a little... improvising. She was never going to make it. Hiding out in the open like that, no one with that little commitment to general awareness wants to live. Most of the zombie population has died off because of starvation, but little nuggets like this have helped me keep Troy as undead as ever. With almost every survivor housed in a safe zone, it's not easy keeping the pantry stocked with raw human flesh. But with love and an ax, you can do practically anything. Besides, blood became much easier to stomach after I saw Troy's cheek fall off. I make sure Troy writes every day. It's important to carry on as though nothing has changed. I figure once this whole thing blows over, we will still want to have some semblance of a normal life. <laughs> um, Troy, sweetheart, I hope you're being hospitable to our guests. Writer's block. Still, is it the dialogue again? I have told you, when you write lines of dialogue, it almost seems like you're trying to be too clever for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> Troy can be really aggressive at his work. They used to only come once a week. Now it's more like once a day. They keep tabs on the people who live outside the approved areas. They bring real food and supplies. They're good to us. Ma'am, please come with us. Conditions here aren't safe. Um, I know what you're asking, and I've told you, I'm fine. I'm well protected here. I can take care of myself. We've been told to bring you in. By force, if necessary. It's not necessary. I'm fine. I am not hurting anyone by staying here by myself. And if I don't make it, then it's one less thing for you to worry about. I'm not in any danger. Just please, let me be. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Nothing ever is. Whether he realizes it or not, I am all Troy has. Who am I to leave him behind? You know, you know I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Um, can, can we take a break? I really have to get dinner finished. Oh, this is the perfect ending to the perfect day. The sergeant stopped by again today. They want me to go somewhere safer. <laughs> I'm thinking about accepting the offer. Mostly because I don't know how much longer I have a choice.
I'm sorry this happened to you. I know it happened because you were protecting me and if you could, that you would tell me that you did it because you love me and not to be sorry. I got you killed. And because I have to live with that, I live with you. No, 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 no! I could leave. I could move on, but I can't do anything without you, Troy. I couldn't even cook these beans right. <laughs> Today was a fucking disaster. I messed my beans up and you're dead. You could rip my heart out and it wouldn't hurt as much as just, just seeing you this way. Oh, I miss you so much. I miss you so much. I would give anything to start over. I look at him and I think about everything he's given up for me. And if there's one thing I've learned about true love is that it dies. It's up to you to find someone whose bullshit is most tolerable and then you deal with it. You deal with their shit and they deal with yours. True love comes out of that. You don't leave the one you love in their moment of need. You do what you can with what you got. Sure, he's dead, but... He's the only thing I have left. And... I know how problematic this is to say, but... When is the last time any woman could ever say a man truly loved her for her brains? <laughs> Thank you.